So Epic Games, obviously the creators of Fortnite, they have just issued a statement about Season 8 being delayed, which we're going to be talking about and taking a look at in today's video. I mean, how is this going to affect the events of Season 7 and what does this mean for Season 8? Is something big in the works? We're going to have to wait and see, I guess. But before we jump into and take a look at today's issued statement from Epic Games, if you guys could do me a favour, drop a like on today's video. One like equals one extra present at Christmas. Who doesn't want extra presents? Make sure you're dropping a like down below on today's video. If you guys are new around here, make sure you're subscribing down below with notifications turned on so you never miss a video. And if you want to, you can use support crazy code MattMaxYT in the item shop. Help support me when you're buying items in Fortnite. So if you want to do that, plug it in as your support creator. Right, today's video, let's go. Now, Season 7, I'm not going to lie, it's gone off to a flying start. No pun intended. I mean, now that the sword's gone, I think planes need a bit of tuning. But Season 7 so far... I think it's been great, new places to explore, different environments, I mean there's just different ways the game can be played now. I think personally the meta for Season 7, I think it's pretty much perfect now, but why are Epic Games delaying Season 8 even though everything is running so smoothly? You think like the last two months, the amount of events and changes that have gone into the game have been crazy. We've had the whole cube event where they've set that up after the rocket has gone up, you've had that cube event rolling around the whole of the map and it's been going on for like two months that did before anything happened it then led on to the fortnite mayor's event where we had like oh god knows what going on zombies and that whole event that went on the changes to the map was crazy we then recently as of recent obviously saw the iceberg out at sea that's then gone on and collided with the fortnite map so a load of changes there and i mean that's a lot of work right there for the guys over working at epic games i'm assuming they're working extra hard just to produce all this content right i mean they're doing it all for us the fortnite community and to make this happen and pretty much just stay on top of the game in the gaming market like they're the leaders right now i don't really see any other company competing with them with all these changes they're bringing out constantly updating like they're leading the game pretty much but with that season eight right it starts just after christmas i'm sure the staff over at epic games won't be working throughout christmas right just to keep the game running with updates and new items will they Surely not. The last year, I can imagine, it's pretty much been non-stop over in the Epic Games studio. Literally, producing a game and watching it go from literally nothing to something. Like, rags to riches, it must have just been mad. A game they never thought would be to the point that it's at now. Like, the point that Fortnite's at now is like the biggest game in the world. It started off, they thought the Battle Royale was going to flop completely. Yeah, it's literally gone from one extreme to the other. And they keep wanting to outdo themselves constantly with new content. But why are they delaying Season 8? There must be a reason for it. Like, all the updates and stuff they've ever brought into the game has always been on time. So, like I said, they've issued a statement that I'm going to be reading to you guys. Because I think a lot of you guys probably don't know this. But they tweet a load of stuff over on Twitter. They actually tweeted why they're going to be closing down. Epic Games, the studio, is going to be closing down for two weeks, okay, over the Christmas period. Here is what they had to say. So the statement goes as follows. The Epic Games team will be taking its own holiday winter break. So season 7 will be extended by two weeks and end on February the 28th. So February the 28th, what's around that period for season 8 then? When that starts, probably Valentine's Day. I don't know, but yes, the 29th of February will be when Season 8 starts. The 28th of February is when Season 7, by the looks of it, is going to finish. So, I mean, two weeks difference. That means it would have finished on February the 14th, which would have been Valentine's Day. Yeah, I mean, they just extended it by two weeks. That's no real deal in that. If you're worried about Season 7 being two extra weeks, then you've got a problem. Okay. Right, we still have updates coming out during that break period, bringing new items and challenges. You can plan on more holiday cheer to hit before New Year's as well. So, they're still going to be putting updates out and new items whilst the studio is closed down for that two week period over Christmas. While they're all taking a break, there's still going to be updates rolling out for us as a community. I mean, that's a pretty big statement from Epic Games right there. And I personally think, obviously, it's well deserved. They've been working their butts off for the last year, bringing us fresh and new content constantly with updates. If you're worried about season eight being delayed by two weeks, then you've got a problem. I don't think there's any issue in that. That just means everybody's gonna be able to complete their challenges, I guess, for season seven a lot easier. You'll see a lot more people with the tier 100 skin because they're gonna be able to complete it in those two extra weeks. That's quite a lot of extra time. Um, so the 29th of February is when season eight will be starting. And for them to say like they're not gonna be working for those two week periods and that Epic Games is closing down, 
over that period and they're still going to have updates rolling out and that's pretty crazy if you ask me. So if you guys didn't know, um, obviously they said even over New Year's there's going to be tons of new stuff coming out. Obviously that period between Christmas and New Year, that five day gap. There's still going to be content coming out, and if you guys didn't know, Epic Games have been working closely with Ninja recently. There's actually going to be like the world's biggest live stream event ever that's going to be going on live from Times Square in New York, where Ninja's going to be streaming to pretty much the whole world. That's going to be mad. So for them to be working on that as well, as well as new updates and items that's going to be added into the game while the studio's closed down for them two weeks... I think that's pretty cool. I guess just leave your thoughts down below. Are you too worried about Season 8 being delayed? I don't think many people are going to be too worried about that, honestly. Um, it just means, like I said, people are going to be able to complete their challenges, weapon challenges, um, you know, get the Tier 100 skin, rank up the Battle Pass to Tier 100. It's going to be a lot easier this season, to be fair. So, if you're worried about completing it, I don't think you should. You've got that two extra weeks now. Which is going to be awesome, I think. Because you think over the last year they've had... They've literally gone from Season 2 to Season 7 back to back to back to back. No breaks in between. Non-stop pretty much. So that is going to wrap up today's video. Why Season 8 has been delayed. That's the statement that Epic Games have put out. I thought I'd cover it in a video because it's pretty important. You guys, when it comes to the end of Season 7, if you didn't know about this... You're going to be like, well, why is there extra two weeks here? What's that for? You guys didn't know Epic Games are closing down over the Christmas period for two weeks. So they thought they might as well delay uh, Season 8 for two weeks. Because I'm guessing there's still a lot of content got to be done for Season 8. They don't want to go back after Christmas and think, oh, God, we got Season 8 in a couple of weeks. Like, we've got to get all this stuff down. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to have a break over Christmas. So I think by delaying it two weeks, that's no issue right there. And if you're worried about that... Then, yeah. I mean, for a gaming company to come out with a statement like that, it's pretty awesome. They're just staying in tune with, like, the whole community and stuff. And especially with all the hard work they've put in over the last year. But, yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, if you could do me a favour, drop a like down below. And make sure you subscribe to the channel down below with notifications turned on. We're coming back with videos because I haven't really uploaded that much recently. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, hopefully, you guys stay tuned. We've got some awesome content coming up very, very soon. If you haven't already, then if you want to, you can use support creator code MattMaxYT in the item shop. I mean, loads of you guys are using it, which is crazy. I thank you guys so much for that. And subscribe with notifications turned on down below. I'll catch you guys in my next video. I'll catch you guys in my next video. It's been your boy, my Max. Have a good day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.